Right now, the state Supreme Court is set to hear arguments against the governor's extended safer at home order. Why supporters of the lawsuit say the order needs to be blocked. Plus breaking news overnight. We're live on the scene of a homicide investigation. We'll have the latest updates from police coming up. And a cloudy start today with some rain in the forecast. I'll tell you where you can expect to get wet in just a few minutes. This is News 3 Now This Morning. A good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, May 5th. I'm Chris Stanford. I'm Leah Lynchheim. And I'm Josh Breider. We start with breaking news this morning on Madison's southeast side. Police are investigating a homicide overnight. It happened right behind me here where crews did just clear up the investigation here on scene about 90 minutes ago. They ended up towing a vehicle from the scene, but that investigation does continue. To give an idea of where we are, we're just east of Badger Rock Middle School, just south of the Beltline near Rimrock Road this morning. Now, here's what happened last night leading up to this investigation. Officers first responded to this neighborhood just before 10 last night to a possible shots fired incident. When they got to the scene, they found a person laying on the ground. Town of Madison police say officers were not able to save that person's life. There's still no information available yet about the victim this morning, and right now police are not saying if anyone is in custody or if they have a suspect. If you have any information, you're asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers or the Town of Madison Tips Line. This is a developing story, so be sure to stay with us here on News Three Now this morning and Channel 3000 for updates as they come in. Sounds good, Josh. Wisconsin's highest court will start hearing arguments today in a lawsuit looking to stop the extension of the governor's safer at home order. The state legislature is suing over the order, saying the Department of Health Services doesn't have the power to extend it, which is uh, May 26th right now. Several organizations filed briefs both for and against the suit ahead of today's hearings. Wisconsin Manufacturers and the Wisconsin Dairy Alliance are in favor of blocking the extension. They praise the sacrifices already made by Wisconsinites, but warn that the extension could continue to hurt the economy. Now, in their brief, supporters of the lawsuit acknowledge the health risks of COVID-19, but say they want to responsibly reopen the state before a point of no return for many Wisconsin businesses. The Wisconsin Public Health Association is one of the organizations writing in favor of the safer at home order. Now they argue that the order should continue since 25 to 50 percent of people infected with the virus never show any symptoms and may not know that they're spreading it. Also that the safer at home extension would help the health care system fight the virus. Oral arguments in the case are scheduled to start at 10 o'clock this morning. Vice President Mike Pence says 41 states currently have formal plans to reopen. This comes as one coronavirus model shows more than 134,000 Americans could die from the virus if social distancing measures are eased. Other projections show the daily death total could increase to 3,000 people a day by June. The Independent reports the White House is refuting those claims, saying the numbers are, quote, not reflective of any modeling they have done. California is now the first state to borrow money from the federal government so it can continue to pay unemployment benefits. The state borrowed nearly $350 million in federal money. It processed more than 3.5 million unemployment claims by the end of April, paying out more than $4.5 billion to workers in need. Senators are back on Capitol Hill this week for the first time in nearly six weeks with the hope of helping the country make strides toward reopening and recovery. It's deadly. Coronavirus does not take days off, and so the United States Senate has not either. This Congress, this Senate, must deliver the people of our country relief. Congress turned down an offer from the Trump administration for rapid coronavirus testing. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell issued a rare joint statement recently saying that they wanted to make sure that those tests were going where they were most needed. The National Guard says it will mobilize up to 15 extra units within the next week to help increase coronavirus testing. There are currently around a dozen mobile teams helping out with testing at places like nursing homes, correctional facilities, factories, and in some communities, drive-through testing sites. Captain Joe Travato says the more testing there is, the more information will be available. It's just a, a, an instance in which we can support our fellow Wisconsinites and, and hopefully come out on the other side of this sooner than later. The National Guard is made up of about 10,000 citizen soldiers in our state. It already has more than 1,000 directly supporting the COVID-19 response. Here in Madison, there is a new decontamination machine that's being used to clean N95 masks so they can be used again. Facilities across the state can send their masks to be cleaned in a machine. Those masks will be decontaminated up to 20 times without losing their functionality. 
40,000 masks can be cleaned at once, too. Governor Evers says the machine helps address the concerns of frontline workers who are worried about reusing the masks. UW Health is dramatically upping its ability to test more people in-house this morning. Over the last 90 days, it's doubled the number of daily completed tests to more than 400. Health officials say people with at least one mild symptom can get tested at UW Health, but they say you do still need to call before coming in. UW Health also relaxing some of its visitor guidelines this morning as it starts back up elective procedures. Starting today, adult patients can have one visitor 18 years or older at the hospital locations and at their clinic appointments, patients can also have one visitor 12 and older. There are no changes to the visitor guidelines for pediatric patients at the American Family Children's Hospital. We have a full list of what you need to know before your next doctor's appointment that's up on channel3000.com. All right, let's check in with Hattie McLean with your first warm forecast. And you, it's May, and wouldn't you know it, we've got a little <laughs> bit of, is that snow? You're noticing this, right? Yeah. yeah, it may be snow a lot, but it's not hitting the ground as okay. snow. I did look at all the surface observations. I can't find any reports of snow across southern Wisconsin, but it's going to be a cold rain today, nonetheless, for parts of the area. You can see that moisture slowly working its way towards Madison. Now, it's going to have a tough time moving much further to the north and east. We have lots of dry air in place here across southern Wisconsin. And here's a wider view. You can generally see this line of showers extending from central parts of Iowa into northern Illinois and the far southern part of Wisconsin this morning. Temperatures will be well below normal for this time of the year. Take a look at your future track forecast model. It does show you that rain trying to work its way into the central part of the state, but outside of a few widely scattered showers, that's about it. Most of that rain staying south and west of Madison through the day today. Rain chances then start to diminish overnight tonight. We still have some critical fire concerns though for mainly the central part of the state where low humidity continues. Winds will be a little bit breezy today from the north and east and without that rain falling there, it stays pretty dry. So again, those burning permits have been suspended for the time being. You shouldn't uh, do any grilling or anything like that that could cause a spark. No relief really in that six to 10 day forecast. It's indicating chances for below normal precipitation for part of northern and central Wisconsin and along with that uh, lack of precipitation much colder than normal temperatures. Here's the six to ten day outlook and that dark bluish purple shaded area covering all of Wisconsin, the Great Lakes and down through the Ohio River Valley as well. So pretty cold conditions coming up as we head towards the middle of May. Our temperatures are in the 30s and low 40s this morning. We're right at 40 here in Madison. Northeasterly winds will continue. They may shift around a little bit more to an easterly direction today. They'll stay around 10 to 12 miles an hour and really sort of try to keep that rain to the south and west. Here's a look at your total precipitation from this rain event. It is going to be on the light side, barely measurable here in Madison. No rain to the north and east, maybe up to around a third of an inch in far southwestern Wisconsin. Good news in that extended forecast, not quite as chilly tomorrow, and we bring the sunshine back into the area. We're talking highs right around 60 on Wednesday and Thursday. That'll feel nice compared to today. Unfortunately, we're back down on Friday to a high of 51, and then it does stay cool through the upcoming weekend. Okay, as long as we don't see any snowflakes hitting the ground over the next 10 days, I can deal with this, Hattie. Yes, we, we, we need to be done with the snow. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank you very much. 608 now, developing this morning, rental car company Hertz is preparing to file for bankruptcy. Bloomberg News reports a Chapter 11 filing could come as soon as this morning if the company can't reach a deal with lenders overnight. The filing would allow the company to stay in business and pay off its creditors as it works to turn around its finances. Hertz's business has come to a near standstill with reduced travel. The company says they have not received any funding from the federal bailout plan. The top executive at United Airlines says employees should consider leaving the company voluntarily. The company's chief operations officer wrote a memo to staffers saying that the company will need to right-size its workforce as it deals with the economic fallout from the coronavirus. United says that it's prepared to lay off workers as soon as October 1st, which is the soonest they're allowed to do so under the terms of its federal financial assistance package. Last month, the airline cut about 90% of its flight schedule during May and June. Carnival Cruise Lines says it plans to phase in some North American cruises by the start of August. Right now, the company is offering trips for as little as $28 a night in an attempt to get customers back. The company says eight ships will leave from Miami and Port Canaveral. 
Uh, so these are in Florida, also uh, Galveston, Texas. This will start August 1st. It says in addition to that plan, the pause in operations will be extended in all other North American and Australian markets through the end of August. Well, it is National Travel and Tourism Week, and Destination Madison is looking back to highlight some record-breaking numbers for tourism in our area. New data shows Dane County hit $1.4 billion in local tourism spending in 2019. The increase marks an almost 4% gain over 2018, and it accounts for nearly 10% of visitor spending for the entire state. That's also a big change from what we're seeing this year. Um, to date, our organization, we have uh, responded to 41 conventions and sporting events that we had contracted with that have canceled. That's a loss of $32.5 million in direct spending to our community and over 65,000 hotel room nights. Just devastating to that industry. Huge numbers. Destination Madison is working with all of those events, though, to try and bring them back in the future. Forward Madison is teaming up with local restaurants to give back to healthcare workers. The Flamingos are starting a Match for Madison campaign. It's selling tickets to a metaphorical match, Forward Madison vs. COVID-19. Fans who purchase a $10 ticket will receive a commemorative ticket as well as their name included on a mural that will go up outside of Breezy Stevens Field. $5 from the, each ticket will go to a fund to buy meals from six local restaurants. Those meals will be donated then to healthcare workers wanted this campaign to be kind of layered and, and helping as many people as we can. Um, so we thought that was kind of a nice way where we can combine um, helping our local restaurants and helping healthcare workers uh, kind of in two in one, um, at, you know, a really, really what we think is a comfortable price point for folks. And so uh, you can purchase these tickets. Just go to Ford Madison FC. Dot com. Still think that's pretty innovative. I do too. I think it's a great idea. All right. The NFL will not be playing any games outside of the U.S. this upcoming season. The league says it wants to focus on the well-being of its players and personnel. According to the NFL's website, one game was supposed to be played in Mexico City. Four games were supposed to be played in London. They are hoping those games will return in the 2021 season. The regular season schedule, by the way, will be released this Thursday at 7 p.m. on the NFL Network. So we already know who the Packers are going to play this year. We just don't know when those games will happen. I mean, there are three tough road games that the Packers are going to have for sure. you get the Saints, then you got Tom Brady and the Buccaneers on the road, and you have the 49ers on the road again this year. Uh, so those are three tough games. Uh, I'm curious to see where those games uh, end up on the schedule when that comes out. You know, I'm curious to see how the entire season goes in light of this pandemic. I mean, yeah. football, I don't think we'll be able to look the same this year. Yeah, will they have fans? Won't they have fans? Right. How are they going to make this work? We'll find out. So even though they've eliminated the community spread in New Zealand, they say that their borders won't be opening back up anytime soon. We'll tell you why just ahead. And the scene is now clear this morning, but we're following updates to a homicide investigation on Madison's southeast side. We'll have the latest in a live report when we come back. Through all the world events since 1936, Culligan Water has continued to provide better, safer water with our filtration systems for homes and businesses. These days, as a designated essential business, Culligan's water professionals are standing by ready to help. Relief Day Spa and Wellness is a place to relax, be pampered, and revitalize your life. While we're temporarily closed, you can still purchase Needed Relief instant gift cards online. The perfect Mother's Day gift that she or anyone will cherish when we reopen. It's exactly what I needed. We here at Brothers Maine wanted to check in with everyone in the light of the COVID-19 epidemic. We're going to do everything we can here at our store to make sure everything's clean, disinfected, and ready for customers to come in and shop with us. Not only can we come to your house and set up the products as we normally would, but we're also going to be offering a free drop-off service in Dane and Rock County. There's nothing more important to our company than making sure that our employees and our customers are safe and healthy. Your business is your pride and joy. You raised it with hard work, from nothing but a dream. And since you care so much, naturally you want to protect it from harm. That's where we come in. Because a great insurance policy is not a necessary evil. It's the best way to keep your business happy, healthy, and profitable. 
And that is the silver lining. Pamper your business with a policy from West Bend. For almost 50 years, we've built trust within our communities by making customer delight our top priority. That trust allows us to improve lives one home at a time. During this challenging time, we want to make sure your needs are being met without stress by offering two-for-one windows with no interest and no payments for one year. So go ahead, visit us online, or call now from the comfort of home. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELTCO. Get a great deal on the Kubota L-Series tractor. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series tractor is the number one selling compact tractor in the U.S. for over 10 years. With a powerful Kubota diesel engine and dependable gear or HST transmission, it's ready to take on your toughest projects. Right now, get the L2501 HST for payments as low as $149 a month. It's time to freshen up around your yard. This year, don't struggle with bulky bags of mulch. Call JR. JR's mulch sales is spreading around. Download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. Welcome back at 615 this morning. We continue to follow some breaking news overnight as Madison police are now investigating an overnight homicide. It happened here along Badger Lane. The scene was cleared less than two hours ago. They ended up towing a vehicle away from the scene, but that investigation is continuing this morning. As of now, we don't know if there are any suspects in custody or if police have named any suspects. Here's a look exactly where we are this morning. Now it happened again along Badger Lane off Moreland Road. This is just east of Badger Rock Middle School off of Rimrock Road south of the Beltline. Police aren't releasing much information at this point, but we do know right now is that officers were called to this area after people reported hearing gunshots and seeing someone laying on the ground. Investigators found a person there uh, and they were, weren't able to save the person's life and they were pronounced dead just after 11 last night. If you have any information on what happened, you are asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers or the Town of Madison Tips Line. Remember, this is a developing story, so stick with News 3 now this morning and Channel 3000 for updates. Thanks, Josh. Meantime, City of Madison police are investigating a shooting outside of a BP gas station. Witnesses say they heard gunshots coming from a blue minivan yesterday just before 2.30 in the afternoon at the BP on Verona Road. Police found a shell casing at the scene and at least a bullet hole in the gas station. No one was hurt. A Dane County Sheriff's deputy is recovering at home this morning after being attacked by an inmate at the jail. The inmate had been booked for disorderly conduct and stalking Sunday. Yesterday, Authorities say that he struck the deputy several times from behind for no apparent reason. The deputy has been released from the hospital and again is recovering at home. The sheriff's office says it believes the inmate has an untreated mental health issue. Right now, Madison police are looking for this blue Chevy Impala that's been involved in a number of reckless driving cases. Officers say it's been running, running red lights, evading police, nearly getting into a couple of crashes, too. The car has no front license plate and temporary tags on the back. It's been spotted quite a bit on the west side, along Midvale Boulevard, John Nolan Drive, and Mineral Point Road. Anybody who might have information on this car or its driver should call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. And a look at your first worn weather forecast. This just in, we have raindrops on our camera lens here from at the station. This is on the west side of town. A few sprinkles coming down here in Madison. Let's take a look at the radar map and see exactly where that rain is falling. Pretty much start to the day to the south and west of Madison. Temperatures are chilly aloft, so that is why the radar map is painting some pinks and blue on the map. Can't find any truth that any of that snow is hitting the ground. It's likely falling as rain. Here's a look at your future radar over the next three hours. We're not going to see a lot of movement on this rain. It will stay mainly in southwestern Wisconsin. Our temperatures are in the upper 30s and low 40s at the surface. Janesville's the warm spot right now with 45 degrees. We're 40 here in Madison. We'll only climb about 10 degrees today to a high of 51 later on this afternoon. Even if you don't see any rain, it is definitely going to be cloudy and chilly. And take a look at this upper air weather pattern as we head into the upcoming weekend. And looks like things are going to stay a little chilly for us here in Wisconsin. All the full forecast in just a few minutes. Okay, thank you very much, Hattie. New this morning, New Zealand's Prime Minister says even though they've eliminated the spread of coronavirus in their country, their borders will remain closed. She says the country will stay mostly isolated to prevent a second outbreak. The country is considering a 
Creation of a bubble of sorts, though, with Australia. They would open their borders exclusively to one another and create a quarantine-free safe zone of travel. A new survey shows that working from home tends to increase productivity. That's right. YouGov, in partnership with USA Today and LinkedIn, questioned 2,000 professionals between the ages of 18 to 74. And they found that 54% of those people said that working from home during the coronavirus pandemic had a positive effect on their productivity. They cited no commute, fewer distractions from coworkers, and fewer meetings. Now, if there were any downsides, poll takers say that it was a lack of humor interaction. About half of those respondents say they felt lonely working from home. I can attest to that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Maybe hard keeping track of what day it is right now, but here's one day you don't want to forget about. Mother's Day is this Sunday. Did you remember? I mean, I, I've known it was coming up. <laughs> That's fair. Better than me. Uh, so the National Retail Federation says Americans are going to spend a bit more than previous years this year. Uh, so the average Americans are going to spend a little more than $200 on gifts and celebrations. That's up uh, about 10 bucks from last year. The Federation says about 80% of Americans plan on celebrating Mother's Day uh, this coming Sunday again. By virtually, many of them are going to be virtual. You know, you you, you do the, the the FaceTime with mom, or you do the, the, the Zoom meeting, or whatever. Yeah. I got to get cracking. I need to send a card. How long do those take to get to Highland? <laughs> you may probably get it there in couple time days. Right now. Sorry, mom. Ma mail's running a little slow, but <laughs> I don't think it's that slow. But yeah, uh, order whatever you're going to get from mom. Do it now. Today. Yeah. Folks. Avoid any delays. All right, coming up in our next half hour, top scientists across the world, they are racing right now to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus. We'll tell you how two groups in Madison are working faster than usual to help out. Plus, we have a live report at the scene of a homicide just blocks away from a middle school here in Madison. Josh Breider is going to give us a live update from police in the next 10 minutes. Stay with us. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. Call ASAP Heating and Cooling, serving the Spring Green area. Call and ask about a free estimate from Cardinal Heating Some Prairie. Attic Angel Community has earned a reputation as the one and only. But what's so memorable to the people who live here? It's good local heart. Interesting friends. The view from my window. Continuing education. The food. The amazing art studio. Happy hour. There are many reasons to love Attic Angel Community, but there's just one Attic Angel. In these uncertain times, it has never been more important to maintain a clean home or business. We are prepared to get your space back to clean and healthy again. We've added a new EPA-registered cleaner that disinfects hard surfaces and deep cleans carpet, rugs, and upholstery. Remember, we disinfect our equipment after every job and disinfect our vehicles daily. We believe in doing things the right way. That's why we've been your trusted partner in clean for over seven years. From our family to yours, we want to encourage you to keep going. Keep protecting what's most important. Keep hopeful in the face of all this. Keep believing. Keep being strong. Keep supporting the people on the front line. Keep staying together while staying apart. Keep being fearless. And most of all, keep dreaming. American Family Insurance is mailing our personal auto insurance customers a premium relief payment to help them keep going. We'll keep being here when you need us. Wow, you ready? Yeah, let me just grab my wallet. Uh-oh, I've seen this before. Wallet way too big, skinny jeans too skinny. I'll just carry it. Before you break something, you should know you don't actually need a wallet. With BMO Harris, you can just take cash out with your phone. Or if you need to, you can pay them with Zelle. That works? Yeah. You're stuck, aren't you? Smile. Woo! Those jeans are way too tight. That feeling you get when no wallet is no big deal. 
That's the BMO effect. Here at Weed Man Lawn Care, we believe that your lawn should be a place where memories are made, a source of pride, relaxation, and fun for the whole family. That's why we proudly offer a child and pet friendly program so you can enjoy a healthier, greener, weed free lawn without sacrificing peace of mind. Our program offers effective, targeted weed control, and our golf course quality fertilizer creates a beautiful outdoor space. Don't your kids and grandkids deserve a Weed Man lawn? Trust the lawn care experts. Trust Weed Man. All right, time to take a look at some of the entries from yesterday's Safer at Home Challenge. We asked you to show us your best Star Wars display for May the 4th. And here are some of our favorites. Yeah, our first runner up this morning has a Wisconsin version of Star Wars going on here. Yoda is using the Cheese Force. And Bucky Badger has the little jacket. It's not a jacket. A little Jedi. <laughs> oh, God, it's been a while since I've watched the Star like, Wars. Like I love it. A cloak. There we cloak, go. maybe. I'm not sure what the Packers, or the troll with the Packers jersey. Check out the Bucks back it. there, too. A little Mallard guy. Yeah, it's a nice little setup. But uh, here's the winner. Check this room <laughs> out. This is one that makes our producer. That's all just Star Wars stuff. There. It's uh, a bunch of Star Wars collectibles. Thank you so much for sending in those pictures. Congratulations on your massive Star Wars collection, guys. <laughs> this is a setup. Uh, you deserve the gift card to a local business. We will be sending to you. Congrats. All right. all right, well, let's look at tomorrow's challenge. It's time to check in with all the quarantine bakers. We want to see what you've been making lately. What is this? Something that's making us hungry, that's good. for sure. There's like, there's scones? Pineapple chunks in the scones. What is that? Ooh. Right, we'll have to check with our producer, Jake, who puts these together for us. Thank you, Jake. Quite creative. Remember to send in your submissions over to channel3000.com slash safe at home. I'm going to guess those are pineapple scones. Yum. Those would be tasty. Either way, right, it sounds uh, pretty good. Yeah, chilly this morning. Uh, we got some showers to watch out for today, too. Don't we know? We do. This is a catnap forecast today. Here's Samantha in Madison, only in the 50s this afternoon. Ooh. All right, we'll be back, folks. You three now first worn weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hi, I'm Tim O'Brien, owner of The Healthy Place, Apple Wellness, and boy, has this been a rough season. We are here for you. We're open. Our wellness consultants are trained in the top immune, lung, and inflammation supplements that are important right now. We have live chat on our website and same-day delivery for our Dane County residents, so you do not need to leave the house. We support you. Stop by one of our four Madison-based locations or check us out online at findyourhealthyplace.com. I'm Joanne Jenkins with AARP. In these challenging times, we need each other more than ever. We may be apart, but we're not alone. Use AARP Community Connections to find or create a mutual aid group near you. Stay connected and help those in need. During these challenging times, many Habitat homeowners are hard at work on the front lines. Others have lost their jobs. Please consider making a donation to ease their financial burden and help us bring stability to families in our community. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Are you behind on your mortgage? Is the bank threatening to take your home? Are you considering trying to get a loan modification on your own? Did you know that less than 5% of people who tried on their own actually got a modification? At the Mortgage Modification Helpline, we know the rules and regulations banks don't want you to know about, and we've helped thousands of people stay in their homes. So call the Mortgage Modification Helpline today. Please call 800-631-7749. Carrier asks, what does comfort mean to you? A cool breeze on a scorching day, a cozy corner on a cold night, or knowing every room of the house is as inviting as the next. Comfort means more than just the temperature, and the people who invented modern air conditioning keep inventing new ways to make you comfortable, like cool cash rebates of up to $1,650. Carrier, turn to the experts. Call us at Arts Electric and Heating. In the Richland Center area, call Ash Creek Plumbing and Heating. 
is in the air. The birds are back, the days are warmer, and spring blossoms are starting to pop. Beautiful, colorful, delicate flowers. This spring, let the outdoor living experts at the Bruce Company help you bring this season to life. Colorful plants, stylish garden art, and the latest trends in outdoor furniture. The Bruce Company has everything you need to start your spring off right. So what's your dream this spring? Find it at the Bruce Company on Parmenter Street in Middleton. Your outdoor living experts. Now we're tracking breaking news overnight as police are now investigating a homicide in Madison. All of the latest in a live report ahead. And some raindrops are showing up on our sky camera shot this morning. I'll tell you where the rain is going to be today in just a few minutes. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a busy day. We appreciate you tuning in. Tuesday, May 5th, I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynch. And you saw right there, Josh Spreider out in the field this morning at a homicide investigation. He is keeping us updated with the latest from police. Josh, what do we know so far? Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, we're out here along Badger Lane here in Madison, where police are now investigating an overnight uh, a homicide. Rather, the scene has been cleared this morning. They cleared that around two hours ago after towing away a vehicle, and it's a good thing they did clear things up as it is starting to rain this morning. Now, to give you a better idea of where we are this morning, this is near Rimrock Road, south of the Beltline. Again, I'm out along Badger Lane. The original call came in just before 10 last night. Town of Madison police say they found a person laying on the the ground when they arrived, but officers weren't able to save their life when they got there. They're also not telling us anything about the victim this morning as that investigation does continue. They aren't saying if anyone is in custody or if they've identified a suspect. When our crew was on the scene last night, just after 10 o'clock, there were around a dozen police cars um, and investigators here on the scene. As I mentioned, that has all been cleared out this morning, but we are monitoring this investigation, making calls and trying to learn more about this victim this morning. And as soon as we have any information, we will pass that along to you both on air and online. Back to you guys. Josh, thank you. 631 now. The Wisconsin Supreme Court will begin hearing arguments in the lawsuit over the state's safer at home order in just a couple of hours. And you can listen in as it happens. The court will start streaming the legislature suit against DHS Secretary Designee Andrea Palm starting at 10. You can find it on YouTube and Wisconsin Eye. The lawsuit argues Palm didn't follow state law in extending the order and doesn't have the authority to do so. So here in Wisconsin right now, there are more than 8,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus. DHS says 10% of tests taken came back positive. That is down from 11% from the day before. Now remember to start reopening parts of the state under the governor's Badger Bounce Back plan. We need to see this orange line right here. It might be kind of tough to see, but it's kind of the median line right in the middle. That needs to be decreasing for a two-week period. And so far, I believe we only have one day in a row. You're right. Meanwhile, scientists around the world are racing to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus. UW-Madison and the Madison-based company Flugin are two of the groups working faster than ever. It usually takes 15 to 20 years to develop a vaccine, but with about 100 in progress right now, it could come as early as this winter. The groups are using the flu vaccine as a starting point. This vaccine is one of the few being developed as a nasal spray instead of a shot. Well, new this morning, the FDA is approving a new COVID-19 antibody test for the first time. This test developed by a company in New Jersey. It can tell if people have had the virus and have recovered from it. There are other antibody tests available, but public health officials say they're not accurate. Antibody tests are believed to be the key in fighting the coronavirus pandemic. In developing right now, Venezuela's president says two U.S. citizens have been arrested. It comes after an unsuccessful beach raid that was reportedly aimed at capturing the socialist leader. Two Americans in custody have been identified as Luke Denman and Arian Berry. They are both former U.S. Special Forces soldiers. Ex-Green Beret Jordan Gordeau said that he was working with the two men in a mission meant to detain President Nicolas Maduro and liberate Venezuela. Gordeau is claiming responsibility for that raid. Maduro, meantime, is blaming the Trump administration and Colombia. Both, though, have denied involvement. There are now nearly half a million Wisconsinites seeking unemployment benefits. The Department of Workforce Development says it's received 498,000 unemployment applications since the start of the pandemic and nearly one and a half million weekly claims. So far, they've paid out more than $384 million. Yeah, more staggering numbers here for you. The U.S. Treasury is borrowing more than it ever has before in the current quarter from April until the end of June. 
the Treasury Department will borrow just under $3 trillion. That is more than five times the government's previous borrowing record for a quarter, which was $569 billion during the 2008 financial crisis. The department says the money will pay for the government's rescue aid programs. They'll also need to borrow more to cover the revenue shortfall that'll happen because of the tax payment deadline that was extended. The government's second round of assistance to small businesses is more than half gone this morning. 56% of the Paycheck Protection Program is now approved, but tens of thousands of businesses are still in line for that aid. 2.2 million loans have been approved during this second round. That follows the 1.7 million approved in the entire first round. Well, a lot of you could soon see some relief on your property taxes. Dane County and the city of Madison want to take advantage of coronavirus relief passed by the state last month. If a proposal is approved by the Madison Common Council today, late fees on all quarterly property tax payments due between now and October 1st would be waived if possible. Some smaller municipalities don't have the cash flow to do it and wouldn't enforce this. And here's a live look in Platteville this morning. You can definitely see that it is raining there and across parts of southwestern Wisconsin, a little wet early this morning. We've seen a few raindrops here in Madison, but most of the precipitation remaining to our south. Let's get a closer look at what's happening, and it's hard to ignore these blue and pink colors that are showing up on the radar maps. Aloft temperatures are quite chilly, so this uh, precipitation may be starting out in the form of snow. It'll likely melt, though, as it reaches the surface with temperatures across southern Wisconsin. Wisconsin above freezing. Here a look at those numbers. 40 in Madison, it's 41 in Lone Rock, even in the Dells, it's 37 degrees. So just rain in our forecast today. Now the rain is battling a northeasterly wind. Right now those winds are around 10 miles an hour. As we put the uh, future track wind speed map into motion, you'll see those northeasterly winds shift around to the east a little bit, but that's just reinforcing the dry air that's already in place across southern Wisconsin. It's not going to be terribly windy today. Wind speeds will stay around 10 to 12 miles miles an hour through the afternoon and then they'll start to diminish tonight. But those winds will battle the rain and you can see on future track the rain has a real tough time making it much further north than Dane County throughout the day. By lunchtime temperatures will still be in the 40s in most locations. Highs today only near 50 degrees. Again the southwestern corner of the state you're likely to see the best chance for rain on and off throughout the day. Overnight the rain chances come to an end. It'll still be a little chilly overnight tonight. Our total rain accumulation is going to be on the light side, though. A couple tenths of an inch for southwestern Wisconsin. Barely any measurable precipitation for us here in Madison. Take a look at that extended forecast. There is some good news. Even though temperatures are a little bit cooler than they should be, at least we have sunshine back into the area Wednesday and Thursday with highs near 60. We're back down on Friday, though, with a high of 51. And then it does stay on the chilly side right through the upcoming weekend. All right. Thank you very much, Hattie. 637 now, when restaurants and businesses eventually reopen, things are going to look really different. Think plexiglass between tables and single-use utensils, condiments, and menus. But we're not there yet. Restaurants won't be operating at more than 50% capacity for some time. The Wisconsin Restaurant Association says restaurants have lost more than $630 million so far. Two-thirds of employees have lost their jobs. The group says if there's no relief budget or if businesses remain closed through the rest of May, half of those restaurants won't reopen. Most of them are family businesses. They're Main Street, Wisconsin. They have kids to support, mortgages to feed, and so on. And then you also have their employees who also are faced with the elimination of their livelihood. And it, it's devastating to think about what that greater impact is going to be. 44% of restaurants in Wisconsin have already temporarily closed. Another 40% said, said they would temporarily close by the end of May if things continue the way they are now. Well, New Glarus is trying to help out some struggling bars and restaurants right now. So the Journal Sentinel reports that the brewery stopped putting beer into kegs early last month. And now they're offering to buy back partially filled kegs from restaurant owners as well. You think about all the bars and restaurants out there that have had those, you know, partially filled kegs uh, sitting in the pressurized, you know, system there Just for wasting. months and uh, it can't stay good forever. So the brewery is expected to dump a lot of those kegs uh, between five and 10,000 half empty kegs 
onto farmers' fields where it'll be used as fertilizer. Hmm. Nuglera says they'll then replace the kegs that they dumped with fresh beer once the bars and restaurants open back up. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. A meatpacking plant in Green Bay is reopening today, more than a week after it was shut down. The Green Bay Press Gazette reports JBS Packerland will reopen with a reduced staff. Listen to this, nearly 300 employees, which is a quarter of its staff, tested positive for the coronavirus as of just last week. The company says all employees will have to be tested before they can go back to work. The company is required to reopen, though, after President Trump issued an executive order last week for beef, pork, and poultry facilities to stay open. Tyson Foods says it's expecting even more closures after it closed down its largest plant in Iowa. A new report from the company says it expects slowdowns as they make changes to workflow and staffing to keep their employees safe. This means lower productivity, though, higher production costs and shortages in the supply chain. Some good news for both farmers and other folks this morning. Kroger is donating 200,000 gallons of milk to local food banks. Yeah, this is America's largest supermarket chain. Uh, they say that the milk is going to go to Feeding America Food Banks and community organizations through the end of August. The initiative is an expansion of a partnership between Kroger and its dairy suppliers to make sure that food insecure communities get the milk they need. The milk that would typically be sold to restaurants, schools, and hotels. Kroger is the biggest supermarket chain in America and is the parent company of Roundy's, Pick and Save, and Metro Market here in Wisconsin. Some good news. Badly needed this morning. Absolutely. Well, we're waking up to some pretty chilly temperatures out there. Hattie is tracking when we could soon see just a bit of a warm up, a warm up and a, a few showers that are hanging out there this morning. Bit of a warm up, just a bit, folks. Don't get too excited. Plus, we're going to show you a really unique performance to thank farmers in, in the United States. You're going to want to catch that performance. It's next on News 3 Now This Morning. With Herzing University's Everywhere Classroom, you can earn a degree in today's hottest fields, anywhere, anytime. Take an online course free and get comfortable with online learning. I'm possible at Herzing. Learn more today. Golden Cars is having a huge markdown sale where you can buy a 2017 Subaru Legacy Premium starting at only $10,995 or $170 per month. That's right, Golden Cars has new body style 2017 Subaru Legacy Premium starting at only $10,995 or $170 per month. So just come on in and visit our family owned and operated business for over 50 years and ask for Crystal Pistol Gobin. Go to Golden Cars East or West. You gotta go to Gobin. GobinCars.com Duracell Optimum will be right where you need them today, tomorrow, the day after that, and the day after that, day after day. Packaging designed to make storage easier. Duracell Optimum. For most patients that have sensitivity, it's very common to have a gum health concern as well. If you have sensitive teeth, you probably aren't going to brush your teeth as effectively because it causes pain. And if you see blood, you should do something about it. You know, I talk to dentists every day and they're able to recommend one product, New Sensodyne Sensitivity in Gum, to address both conditions at the same time. If we only treat one versus the other, the patient's mouth is never going to be where it needs to be. It's really good dentistry to be able to recommend one product for patients that can address two conditions. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities during these times of uncertainty. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. Yeah, sure. I'm a home builder. I go to Nuns. Why? Well, my clients love them because they have all those fancy schmancy carpets. You know, like those smart strand ones from Karistan that are just astonishingly soft to the touch. I'm more of a concrete floor guy myself. That fluffy stuff just doesn't do it for me. But hey, my clients, they love this fancy schmancy Karistan carpeting. So we go to Nuns. Nuns. Kitchen, bath, and flooring. Now is the time to change your life. Herzing University makes it possible without leaving home. Start studying online and take the first step toward a new career. I'm It's understandable that you're feeling a bit anxious right now with all the uncertainty. I'm here to assure you that News 3 Now is committed to providing you with the information you and your family need to stay healthy. We're also offering stories of hope and goodwill. Because even in difficult times, people are looking out for one another, reaching out to their neighbors and doing something good. 
Most of all, know that we are in this together. All right, it is uh, 644 and time now for a daily dose of positivity as we highlight some people who are doing something good during the pandemic. Today's story is out of Palm Springs, California, where a community isn't just honoring frontline workers in hospitals, nursing homes, and grocery stores. Nope, they're throwing a special celebration to the folks putting in the long and hard hours on farms. Oh, <laughs> This constantly makes me giggle. Take a look at this. A local mariachi band went out to show their appreciation for field workers at a cornfield in the North Shore of Palm Springs. Juan Luis Corona is one of the workers there. He and his team do the essential work of harvesting food during this pandemic. He's originally from Mexico and has worked in the fields for more than five years. Juan says this is the first time he's felt appreciated for putting in those long hours. I can only be proud of myself and the work I have. I love working the fields, but it's nice to feel appreciated too. Well, the band decided to visit the workers uh, on the morning shift as a surprise. I don't know about you guys, anytime I hear mariachi music, it instantly turns my mood around. I yeah. mean, it always puts me in a good mood. This is a great idea. We could put together some sort of impromptu band, head out to the farms, think they would appreciate it. Yeah, we need to get a couple of uh, local polka bands and see if we can do something like this around here. Would that be great? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to hear you sing, though. <laughs> okay. Are you any good? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Right. Let's leave that to the professionals, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here at News 3 Now this morning, we're continuing to thank all of the people in our community making a difference during this time of uncertainty. And today, we are thanking Nina Robertson and her husband, Ryan. Nina is a paramedic in Wanakee. Ryan is a nurse. So we want to thank this couple and take a second to congratulate them because they just recently got married hey! in late March. Congrats, Congrats to you folks. We so appreciate the hard work you're doing. Keeping it in the family, too. I love that. Yeah, Nina and Ryan, thank you for everything you do and thank you to all the first responders out there and you know everybody who's working on the front lines right now to help protect us and keep us safe. We are thinking about you all the time. Indeed. Patty? All right, well, let's get our weather forecast for today. Not the best forecast, but I'm just the messenger. Remember that. <laughs> we have clouds and rain as well as cooler conditions. Take a live look from the Edgewater Sky Camp. Cloudy skies this morning here in Madison. We've had some raindrops here on the west side of town. Here's a look at Doppler Track. You can see that rain trying to make it into the Madison area. Get a lot of dry air present right now across southern Wisconsin, so that rain is going to have a tough time moving much further to the north. Some snowflakes showing up on the radar map, but most of that not actually hitting the ground. Here's a look at our current temperatures. All spots are above the freezing point this morning. In fact, it's 44 in Janesville, 40 here in Madison, and 40 in Monroe. Temperatures through the day are going to be slow to climb. We'll still be in the 40s at the lunch hour, and temps will only top in the low 50s in a few spots today, so it will be much cooler than it should be for this time in May. Our forecast stays on the cool side, and we are talking frost potential in the upcoming forecast. I'll tell you when you might need to cover up your flowers in just a few minutes. Sounds good, thanks, Hattie. Coming up in the morning sprint, we'll have an update on some breaking news from overnight. And it is Tuesday, May 5th. We want to take a second to say happy birthday to Elliot, Rory, and all the kids turning three today. Thanks so much for celebrating with us here on News 3 Now this morning. We'll be right back. app today. In 1995, Denver Mattress opened its doors to the world. A lot has changed in 25 years, but one thing that stayed the same? Denver Mattress is still the easiest way to get the right mattress. During the 25th anniversary sale, take 25% off our original Doctor's Choice lineup and shop from home at denvermattress.com and we'll deliver it free right to your doorstep. Plus, get a $300 furniture oak gift certificate when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic and five years no interest. Happy birthday, Denver Mattress! We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum's the fastest. Bam. <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my 
shows, and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on demand. Plus, use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go, all from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. The world needs people who fight for what's right. For us, that means fighting for you when an accident has turned your life upside down. Jones has been making breakfast better for more than 130 years. It all started with a great tasting, all natural recipe. It was manufactured by the next generation, then scrupulously left untouched for five generations after that. Because authenticity, integrity, and superior taste matter at Jones. So you can breakfast better. And my family guarantees it. Joanne Jenkins with AARP. The coronavirus continues to affect us all, and we are here actively supporting you and your community. Every day, we're providing trusted information from top health experts, sharing tools to help protect families from fraud, and creating resources to support family caregivers everywhere. As always, you can count on AARP to advocate for you and your family. Join us and stay connected at aarp.org coronavirus. A sale like never before, on now at Fry Construction. It is 6.50 in time for the morning sprint. We start with the latest on breaking news overnight on Madison's southeast side, where police are now investigating a homicide. It happened along Badger Lane overnight, just a couple blocks east of Badger Rock Middle School, near Rimrock Road, just south of the Beltline. The original call came in just before 10 last night. Town of Madison police say officers weren't able to save the person's life when they got there. They're not telling us anything about the victim this morning and aren't saying if anyone is in custody or if they've identified a suspect. Stay with News 3 Now on Channel3000.com for updates dates today. Court. The state Supreme Court will begin hearing arguments in the lawsuit over the state's safer at home order in just a few hours, and you can listen in as it happens. The court will start streaming the legislature suit against DHS Secretary Designee Andrea Palm at 10 this morning. The lawsuit argues Palm didn't follow state law in extending the order and doesn't have the authority to do so. You can listen in live on YouTube and Wisconsin Eye. There are now about 8,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus here in Wisconsin. You take a look at the latest information from the Department of Health and Human Services or DHS or the Department of Health Services. Uh, it's just 10% of tests taken has, uh, came back positive. That is down from 11% the day before. Remember to start reopening parts of the state under the governor's Badger bounce back plan. We need to have the orange line you see on your screen slope down over a two week period. The FDA is approving a new COVID-19 antibody test for the first time. The test was developed by a company in New Jersey and can tell if folks have had the virus and then recovered from it. There are other antibody tests available, but public health officials say they're not accurate. These tests are believed to be the key to fighting the coronavirus pandemic. Venezuela's president says two U.S. citizens have been arrested. It comes after an unsuccessful beach raid that was reportedly aimed at capturing the socialist leader. Luke Denman and Arian, uh, Arian Barry are both former U.S. Special Forces soldiers. There's the one cut there. The ones in custody. Now, ex Green Beret Jordan Cordeaux said he was working with the two men in a mission meant to detain President Nicolas Maduro and liberate Venezuela. Cordeaux is claiming responsibility for them. There are now nearly half a million Wisconsinites seeking unemployment benefits. The Department of Workforce Development says it's received 498,000 unemployment applications since the start of the pandemic and nearly one and a half million weekly claims. So far, they've paid out more than 384 million dollars. More staggering numbers here. The U.S. Treasury is borrowing more than it ever has before. In the current quarter, uh, it's going to borrow just under $3 trillion. This is more than five times the government's previous borrowing record for a quarter. 
It happened during the 2008 financial crisis. The department says the money will go to pay for the government's rescue aid programs. The government's second round of assistance to small businesses is more than half gone this morning. 56% of the Paycheck Protection Program is now approved, but tens of thousands of businesses are still in line. 2.2 million loans have been approved during the second round. That follows 1.7 million approved in the entire first round. Well, a lot of you could soon get some relief on your property taxes. Dane County and the City of Madison want to take advantage of coronavirus relief passed by the state. If a proposal is approved by the Madison Common Council today, late fees on all quarterly property tax payments due between now and October 1st would be waived if possible. Some smaller municipalities don't have the cash flow to do it and wouldn't enforce this. New Glarus Brewing is starting to dump beer and lots of it at that. The Journal Sentinel reports the brewery stopped putting beer in kegs early last month. They're offering to buy back partially filled kegs from restaurant owners as well. The brewery is expected to dump anywhere between 5 and 10,000 half-empty kegs on a farmer's field where it will be used as fertilizer. They'll replace the kegs they dumped with fresh beer once restaurants are back open. A meatpacking plant in Green Bay is reopening today. This is about a week after it was shut down. The Green Bay Press-Gazette reports that JBS Packerland will reopen with reduced staff. You may remember nearly 300 employees, about a quarter of its staff, tested positive for coronavirus as of last week. The company is required to reopen now after President Trump issued an executive order last week requiring beef, pork, and poultry facilities to stay open. Before you start snacking this morning, there's a recall you're going to want to know about. Ritz Crackers is voluntarily recalling some of its cracker sandwiches after a mix-up with the packaging. The outer packaging says the sandwiches are cheese-flavored, but the individually wrapped packs inside are actually peanut butter. It's a big deal for anybody with allergies. The recall is a precaution, and so far no one has gotten sick. It applies to the family size packs with best use by dates between September 18th and October 2nd. Love this. Nike is donating thousands of sneakers to healthcare workers who are on the front lines. The company partnered up with the nonprofit Good360 to develop or deliver rather 30,000 shoes to workers in Chicago, LA, Memphis, and New York. Workers in those cities are going to get the Air Zoom Pulse. It's a shoe designed specifically for folks who are on their feet for a long time. And we have some rain showing up on the radar map this morning, especially south and west of Madison, but not of the question here in the capital city to see a few light raindrops on and off today. It is going to be cloudy and cool elsewhere. High temperatures will only be near 50 degrees this afternoon with that east wind around 10 miles per hour. We do have some potential for frosty conditions overnight, Friday night into Saturday. That'll be the coldest night of the next 10 with temperatures expected to fall below the freezing point early Saturday morning. That extended forecast does warm things up though as we head into next week. Hattie, thank you. And thank you folks for joining us this morning. We hope you have a great Tuesday. Stay well and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.